the country. As we head into, the, uh, into this election, President Muhammad Buhari will no doubt remain the best man for the job of moving this country forward. In another development, Nigerian youth have promised to deliver 20 million votes to President Muhammad Buhari come February 16. We believe it's realizable, knowing fully well that the newly, re newly re released uh, a number of voters register that I met has increased tremendously. And out of that, youth account up to 45 to 50 percent. So we feel that with your support, with your commitment, that this thing is going to be realizable. I repeat, Operation Give Mr. President 20 million votes. Director of Youth Mobilization of the APC, Tony Woye, says government social intervention programs with direct impact on the youth and the less privileged informed their decision. In Abuja, Salihu Abdullahi, NTA News. The federal government says it has uncovered plots by some people whom it describes as desperate opposition to cause massive violence across the country, a plot that is threatening the forthcoming elections. Information and Culture Minister Lai Mohammed disclosed these at a media briefing in Abuja. Anthony Forsen reports. The Information and Culture Minister Lai Mohammed disclosed that the federal government is in possession of credible intelligence reports to the effect that a widespread violence is being orchestrated by the opposition, which is threatening the 2019 general elections. Armed bandits and Boko Haram insurgents have been mobilized to engage in massive attacks and other acts of violence in several states across the country including but not limited to Adamawa, Bauchi, Bron, Benue, Kano, Kaduna, Nasarawa, Plateau, Taraba, and Zamfara. The Benue-based armed criminal group, led by Tawasi Akwaza, also known as Ghana, has been commissioned to strike some targets in Bibi, Nasarawa, and Taraba states. In Kano state, a group of notorious miscreants have been mobilized by some prominent opposition leaders to provoke massive chaos before, during, and after the elections. To this end, the minister said, the federal government is taking every possible measure to counter the evil plan by those he described as unpatriotic citizens. The administration's commitment to incredible, free, fair and peaceful elections is unshaken. The minister, however, called on Nigerians to be vigilant in the days ahead and to the media, he enjoined them to assist in supporting the federal government in sensitizing the entire citizenry on the observed threats which are capable of disrupting the elections. The punchline of a long running campaign of security if you see something, say something, remains relevant, perhaps even more relevant at this time. In about three weeks from now, Nigerians will be going to the polls. In Abuja, Anthony Forson, NTA News. Well, to stay with us here on NTN Network News, we've got more for you after the break. Join us again. You know, from day one, Globe makes life easier. They brought us past second billing unbelievable data packages. And even an optic fiber cable to make sure we optimize. There are two things in our lives we depend on the communication and information, voice and data. Whether you sell, buy, learn, teach, serve, or lead, it really comes out to those two things, voice and data. Today's world is all about you. You want what you want, how you want it, and Glow delivers. The freedom to use voice and data the way you like on every recharge. Easy. Glow Yakata. Recharge 100 Naira and get 2,200 Naira. Minimum 500 Naira to call all networks and 10 friends and family. Plus all the data you need, up to 6 gigabytes. Buy a Glow SIM or dial star 220 hash to migrate. Glow, Grandmasters of Data. For Lagos State, Yoruba, they say. Buhari, Lafayette. For Lagos State, Ibo people, they say. Buhari, Kainchara. House of people, where the Lagos State, they say. Buhari, Mukesa. South people, where the Lagos State, they 
Buhari go fit to continue with the good work with the shell for our country for three years now. Now the man we don't begin repair our country, Nigeria, from the bad way it be before. When them spoil them with the corruption and tiff tiff. People of Lagos State, our country don't better so. It could make we all support and vote Muhammad Buhari and Professor Yemi Oshibajo as vice president. So if it continue and finish the good work, we it do for we country so. Now forward ever and backward never. Vote APC. support to you. Power this message. The Aerial Assurance Challenge. Thank you. But what assurance can you give our daughter? Everything. With the new look, Ariel, I can even do the laundry. Prove it then. Okay. Let's make this day even tougher. Now, let's wash the cloth. With your detergent and with new look, Ariel. Do you believe me now? Ariel, now in a new look pack. This is to announce the formal launch and official flag of ceremony of Forward with Buhari campaign. Mr. President, you are the best choice for our nation. Special guest of honor, His Excellency, Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. Special guests include all governors, Adam Soshomole, APC National Chairman, and Mr. Boss Mustafa, Secretary to the Government of the Federation. Date, Tuesday, 22nd January, 2019. Venue, International Conference Center, Abuja. Time. 3 p.m. Forward with Buhari Campaign Committee. Announcer. The 5,000 naira we we need to buy UTME form for Junior. He never comes. Hey, Mama Junior. President Muhammad Buhari don't reduce price of UTME and DE form from 5,000 naira to 3,500 naira, excluding the money for reading text. Then go begin sell 2019 UTME and direct entry application form from January 10 to February 21, 2019. The exam go sell it for 16 to 23 March. For general detail, make could have go to ibash.jump.gov.nt or download the app from Google Play Store. To register by form, text surname, first name plus middle name to 55019. Then go send profile code, we get 10 character. Now this profile code candidate go fill where did they pay for jump form. After payment, candidate go receive e-pin for him for. Now this e-pin candidate go take go any accredited jump CBT center to complete online registration. Don't use another person phone number to take register. Jump. Enhancing academic excellence. The Director General, APC Campaign Organization, Kebi State, Suleiman Muhammad Argungu, and Chairman Party, APC Kebi State, Balasani Kangiwa, cordially invites the public to welcome Mr. President Muhammadu Buhari in Kebi State. Date Wednesday, 23rd January 2019. Chief Host, the Executive Governor, Kebi State, Senator Atiku Bagudu. Join us at Haliro Abdul Stadium, Burning Kebi, to support and show love for our president. One Nigeria, one APC, one Kebi State. Announcer, Al Hadisani Dodudu, Chairman Information and Publicity, Buhari Atiku Campaign Organization. is to invite the general public to the formal presentation of the book Testing the Great of Public Service, an autobiography of Malam Adamuli Manchiroma, under the chairmanship of Malam Mahmoud Yael Ahmed Ajian Katagun, book presenter Al Haji Dr. Amin Antata, book reviewer Professor Abubakar Rashid, Executive Secretary AUC, Chief Host Malam Nasir Ahmed El Rafai, Executive Governor, Kaduna State. Date Saturday, 26 January 2019, by 9 a.m. at Ario House, Kaduna. Announcer, Book Launch Committee. The Professional Women in Advocacy is pleased to identify with President Muhammad Buhari for his belief on the Nigerian woman and his stand for the rule of law. Mr. President, we are saying a big thank you for promoting women in the civil service in your administration by reinstating into the Nigerian civil service the following permanent secretaries. They are Mrs. Abimbola Ibukun Odushote, permanent secretary, Ministry of Labor and Employment, Mrs. Nkechi Ejele, permanent secretary, Ministry of Communication, 
Relations and the recent retired Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Niger Delta, Mrs. Fatima Binta Bamidele. Mr. President, the Professional Women in Advocacy celebrates you. Thanks for staying with us. Promoting micro, small and medium enterprises to boost economic development and create jobs for the team in youths remains a priority to the federal government. Vice President Yemi Oshibaju stated this while flagging off the National Micro and Small Enterprises Clinic in Adoekiti. Kola Adebabui reports that Professor Shibajo also met with traditional rulers and promised compensation to families of victims of the Iworoko accident. The clinic, which brought together artisans, small and medium scale entrepreneurs from the 16 local government areas of the state, is aimed at fashioning out modalities that will help sustain the micro, small, and medium enterprises, synthesize them on the various opportunities available, as well as render help and services for economic growth and national development. Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, who expressed satisfaction about the way people embraced the federal government initiative with the determination of President Mamadou Buhari's administration towards ensuring programs that will alleviate poverty, provide empowerment opportunities, and employment generation. This is one of the major projects of the Buhari government. Empowering young people, empowering businesses, many more Ikiti people are still going to benefit from it. The vice president, accompanied by Governor Kaudi Fayemi, later moved to the Awedeli Market, BC Market, and King's Market in the state capital to associate with the traders and launch the Trader Money Initiative to empower about 30,000 traders in the state. The entourage also moved to the Palace of Wewe of Adogeti, Obarufo Sadejube, where the vice president solicited the support of the traditional council and people of the state for the re-election of President Mamadou Buhari for the second term. Professor Yemi Oshimbajo also visited Iworoko Ekiti to commiserate with the people over the demise of the traditional ruler of the town and families of those affected by the unfortunate accident that claimed 12 lives in Adoekiti. Kola Adebabuyi, NT News. A bit on security now. The new leadership of the police is taking major steps to reorganize the force. The operations of the special anti-robbery squad, SARS, domiciled at the force headquarters, has now been decentralized by the acting inspector general of police, Mohamed Abubakar Adamu. Runke Kolawele reports that the new IGPE has also met with the INEC chairman to inquire about security arrangements for next month's general election. In the army, when a general leaves his area of operations to meet another general, this is an indication that there is an issue at stake. This could be likened with what happened at the force headquarters when the INEC chairman attended the management meeting of the Nigeria Police Force to synergize with the force on how to ensure peaceful, free and fair general elections. The acting IGP who hit the ground running on assumption of office in preparation for the 2019 general elections assured the electoral umpire of adequate plan for national security coverage. And if there are areas that is not clear, we need further clarification, the chairman himself will give answers to those because this is a very crucial election that we're entering into and the election must be free, fair and credible and the police officers must be seen to be neutral. The police has no candidate in the 2019 general elections. INEC is not a political party. We have no candidate in the elections. Our responsibility is to safeguard the processes such that what Nigerians vote for is what determines who wins the election. Simple. Aside the collaboration with INEC, the acting IGP and the national police managers took stock of past elections, evaluated the performance of the force, identified the critical operational challenges to address them ahead of the polls. Similarly, all quasi investigation and operation units, including special investigation panel, 
special tactical squad, or any other such teams under whatever name are hereby disbanded. The DRG for CID is to overtake and review all cases that such teams are currently handling, as well as official assets on charge to them, and submit a detailed report to my office within two weeks. The acting IGP also gave an insight into the policy direction of his administration. Ronke Konawale, NT News. Minister of Foreign Affairs Jeffrey Yema has assured the international community that the Buhari administration remains committed to free, fair and credible elections where the will of the people will prevail. The minister reaffirmed this when he met with the head of the European Union Election Observer Mission to Nigeria, Maria Arena. Foreign Desk correspondent Makut Simon Macham reports. The head of the European Union Election Observer Mission to Nigeria, Maria Arena, is in the Foreign Affairs Ministry to brief the minister on the itinerary of the mission for monitoring the 2019 general elections. The EU, she says, considers Nigeria's elections as crucial because of its strategic place in the international community. Because I think that what we need is transparency, and transparency gives trust in the process, and I think that Ni Nigerian people need to have trust in this process. Jeffrey Onyama assures the European Union and the international community that President Muhammad Buhari remains committed to ensuring that the 2019 elections meet international standards. Mr. President has um, announced uh, in every forum uh, in The Hague last year at the um, inauguration of the 20th anniversary of the International Criminal Court, uh, the African Union, and um, all his uh, bilateral meetings uh, with uh, global uh, leaders, that, uh, that he's going to do everything within his powers uh, to ensure free, fair, credible elections. And he's investing, um, you know, his whole reputation and everything uh, on that. The observer mission has 40 long-term observers while short-term observers will soon arrive the country. In Abuja, Makut Simon Machan, NT News. The federal government has approved the reinstatement of Professor Suleiman Elias Boguru as the executive secretary to the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund. A statement from the office of the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, said the reinstatement of Professor Boguru is with immediate effect, with the same terms and conditions as it were in his previous appointment and as stipulated in the TET Fund staff conditions of service. Professor Suleiman Boguru was the executive secretary of Tetfon between 2014 and February 2016. The Network News is broadcast live on the network service of the NTA. Uh, let's now join our Lagos Network Centre for more stories. And here is Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Joseph, it's nice to see you and thanks for joining us in Lagos. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshimbaju has assured Nigerians that when re-elected, President Mohamed Buhari's administration will not share public funds to friends and members. The Vice President made the pledge at a dialogue organized by Christian Youths in Ikeja, Lagos, Nusa Usula reports. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaju said President Buhari deserved to be re-elected because of the way he had been able to address grand corruption, which was the main problem that led to the destruction of the nation's economy. This country has had an economy that has been subjected to the worst forms of corruption. The Lagos Ibarra Expressway was a project that has been on forever. But we have only just started now putting in real resources into it. The entire stretch of the road was built in two years by a military government. Why couldn't it? Year after year there's a budget. Year after year there's money, but it disappears. The vice president, however, called for more tolerance among Christians and Muslims in Nigeria. The vice president thereafter held a closed-door meeting with various representatives of Igbo groups and organizations in Lagos State. In Lagos, Nosa, Osula, NTA News. The Central Bank of Nigeria says it will support any indigenous company that embarks on projects that give priority to agricultural and manufacturing products along the project 
along the value chain. The governor, Godwin Emefile, on a visit to the Dangote Industrial Site, Leki in Lagos, was impressed with progress recorded in the execution of the various projects. Nenrot Nina Musa tells us more. The 100 hectare land has, among other projects, 650,000 barrels per day capacity refinery, fertilizer, and petrochemical plant. Initially, the team conducted round by the president of Dangote Industries thought the inspection could be done on foot, but that was not to be, as a drive round the industrial site took four hours. The total cost of the refinery is put at $9 billion. That if there are companies that are interested in diversifying the economy, making sure that they join government in, in, in restructuring the base of the Nigerian economy, that the Central Bank of Nigeria stands ready, stands ready to provide funding both in Naira and also stands ready to provide foreign exchange for the importation of the manufacturing items that is needed to get that project on ground. President of Dangote Group of Companies, Aliko Dangote, thanked the CBN governor for the support in the execution of the projects, assuring Nigerians that the completion of the projects will help to overcome the challenge of importing fuel. It's a major transformation, and uh, looking at the gas pipeline, gas pipeline which we want to do is actually 3 billion scope, which is equivalent to LNG today. And uh, these are all projects which I believe they will transform the economy of uh, Nigeria. Group Executive Director of Dangote Industries, who gave a presentation on the Dangote's refining business strategy, highlighted the effort of the company in skills development of local communities for employment of 250 artisans through partnership with Lagos State Government and Cement. In Lagos, Nerot Nina Musa, NTA News. Former Minister of State Defense, Senator Musilio Obanikoro, has told the Federal High Court sitting in Lagos that the former National Security Advisor, Colonel Sambo Dasuki, directed him to give $5 million to former Governor of Ekiti State, Ayo Fayoshi, few days to Ekiti State governorship election. Viera Chumba has details. Former Minister of State Defense, Senator Musli Obaniku, is the fifth prosecution witness to give evidence in the trial of former Governor of Ekiti State, Ayo Fayoshi, facing charges of 6.9 billion Naira fraud. Obanikuru told the court that in June 2014, close to Ekiti State governorship election, he received a call from Ayo Fayoshi inquiring from him if there was any message for him for funds from the former National Security Advisor, Colonel Sambo Dasuki. The money, Obanikoro said, was eventually brought in a bullion van to the private wing of Ikeja Airport, where one Agbele sent by Fayoshi was on standby to receive the $5 million, and it was lifted to Ekiti State. The former Minister of State Defense also told the court that he went to Adwekiti to meet Fayoshi in a hotel known as Spotless, and there he handed him over the $5 million, three days to Ekiti governorship election. When Senator Banikuru was asked the source of the money, he said the former national security advisor is the only one who can explain as to the source of the funds. Obanikuru, in his reply, as to his connection with the money. He, however, said the money was used for security purposes. EFCC counsel then showed Obanikuru's statement of account on the 13th and 16th of June, indicating monetary postings into the account from the impressed account of National Security Advisor, which he confirmed and it was admitted as exhibit. Further hearing continues on the 4th of February. Meanwhile, judgment in the case of former governor of Oyo State, Rashid Bladaja, in the case of 4.7 billion naira fraud has been reserved. In Lagos, Viera Chumba, NTA News. You're still watching NTA Network News. More reports ahead after this time out. Do stay with us. I thought leaving the country was the best decision for me and my future. I left for a better life. We were picked up by immigration officials and sent to a detention camp. I spent eight months in the detention camp. There was no food, no water. I saw people being beaten like animals. Some women were raped. Some women were sold as slaves. I thought I would never see my loved ones again. I have 
made the biggest mistake of my life. I have wasted all my savings. I have to start all over again. Migration is a human phenomenon which cannot be stopped. But if we choose to migrate, we advocate that it should be done in a safe, orderly, regular and dignified way and not in a dangerous and tortuous manner. This message is brought to you by the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons. It's really tough right now. It's hard to expand my business. Exactly. You know many farmers depend on me. All these banks saying, they don't see my vision. <clears throat> Good evening, gentlemen. Sorry for interrupting. That's not exactly true. How do you know? I'm living proof. Mind if I join you? Not at all. Just last year, I had planned to expand my hospitality business. It was tough, but I met the right people. So, who exactly are these people? My bank, FCMB. Eddie, their bills on the house. I forgot to mention, this is one of our hotels. Have a great night, gentlemen. With the right guys who believe in your visions, getting to your desired destination is easier and quicker. Let's help you take the next step. FCMB, my bank, and I. You discovered the things even before you discovered being a mom. You ate the things that you would not touch before. You have memorized voluminous books. Now, keep discovering with Molfix Newborn. Its soft and breathable surface gently touches your baby's skin. Its ultra-absorbent structure locks the liquid in. Provides the care your newborn baby needs. Molfix Newborn. Happy today, happy tomorrow. What's up? His friends didn't come. Hey, let's practice. But you're going out. Don't worry about me. Nothing satisfies a mother more than seeing a child grow up. But I know as he sweats, he'll face the risk of germs, which can cause skin irritation. That's why you need the new best ever, Dettol Cool. It's new advanced formulation with extra menthol protects from up to 100 illness causing germs and gives your family icy cool freshness. Growing up needs Dettol protection. <coughs> Sore throat. It's often caused by bacteria and viruses. It feels like they're having a party. You need Strepsils. It soothes the pain, plus it fights the germs with two germ-killing actives. Double power in one lozenge. Bye-bye, sore throat. Take Strepsils. The Candidates, a presidential town hall co-production between Daria Media and NTA, supported by the MacArthur Foundation. Kingsley Mogalu and running mate Omar Getso of the Young Progressive Party. Mohamedou Buhari and running mate Yemi Oshimbaju of the All Progressives Congress. Omoyele Showare and running mate Rabiu Ahmed Rufai of the African Action Congress. Atiku Abubakar and running mate Peter Obi of the People's Democratic Party. Moderator, Kadria Ahmed. Next town hall, Wednesday, 23rd January, with Omoyele Showare and running mate Rabiu Ahmed Med Rufai of the African Action Congress. Town Hall Venue, Sheraton Hotel Abuja, from 7 to 9 p.m. The candidates will be broadcast live on NTA and other partner TV and radio stations, as well as streamed online on NTA and DTV.media. If you're over 18 and want to be part of the audience, apply online at daria.media or use the hashtag NGTheCandidates or participate online using the hashtag NGTheCandidates. But we lost. Don't be tired, guys. This isn't a loss. It's a practice for winning. Nothing makes a mother prouder than seeing her child growing up. But I know as he learns to lead, he'll face even more dirt, germs, and risk of illness. That's why in changing seasons, you need strong dental protection. Because dental protects from up to 100 illness causing germs. Growing up needs dental protection. <laughs> This is NTN Network News. The news continues now from our Meduguri Network Center with Mohammed. Thank you, Joseph, and welcome to Meduguri. The people of Southern Borno have been called upon to vote for the All Progressives Congress APC candidates vying for different offices in the state and the country as a whole. Governor Kashim Shatima made the call when he addressed people of the Central Zone in Shani, Askiraoba, and Goza local government areas during APC campaign rallies in the areas. Memuna Garba reports. 
The APC campaign train traversed Shani Town in Shani Local Government, Uba Lesa, and Askira Town in Askira Uba Local Government, and Goza Town in Goza Local Government area. In all the places visited, Mammoth crowd trooped out to give the APC candidate, led by Governor Kashim Shetime, a rousing welcome. Addressing party stalwarts and supporters of the APC, Governor Kashim Shetima urged the people to vote President Muhammad Buhari, but no state governorship candidate, Professor Babagana Umara, the APC senatorial, House of Representatives, and state assembly candidates to continue with the good work the APC government at the national and state level have been doing. At Askira Town, Governor Kashim Shetima received defectors comprising leadership of other political parties into the folds of the APC with a pledge to carry them along. Those who received said they were attracted by the good work the APC government has been doing in the areas and pledged absolute loyalty and commitment to the success of the APC at all levels. Meanwhile, Governor Kashim Shetima has inspected newly constructed mega school and renovated General Hospital in Shani, new General Hospital in Borgu, the newly reconstructed local government secretariat, a renovated block of classroom in GSS Askira, 20 housing units, all in Askira town in Maiduguri, Maimuna Garba, NTA News. Socioeconomic activities have gradually picked up in Bama local government area of Borno State following the restoration of significant peace owing to the effort of Nigerian military an area once deserted by its inhabitants for three years due to attacks by Boko Haram terrorists, Murjana Hassan reports, that has also resumed at the headquarters of the local government. Bama local government, about 60 kilometers away from Medugui, was a shadow of itself after it been ravaged by Boko Haram activities, totally displacing its inhabitants for more than three years. However, with the opening of the road leading to Bama in February 2018, normalcy is gradually being restored. The usual hustle and bustle within the township, especially Bama Central Market, which is largely known for sales of goods as far as Central Africa, have now commenced due to improved security. Kalma Tomodu, a petit trader who fled to Niger Republic during the peak of the insurgency, has now returned, hoping to pick up the pieces of her life. Commercial activities with vehicles moving in and out of Bama town along the road that was impossible years ago have now bounced back. Most destroyed private and public structures by the terrorists have been rebuilt. Uh, in support of Bama town, you see all other facilities have also been put in place. Uh, the relief materials and livelihood means are also coordinated by this ministry. The commissioner father said, apart from rebuilding the houses, with the support of the federal and state governments, as well as NGOs, the people have been given livelihood support from time to time to improve their living condition. In Medugri, Mujana to Hassan, NTA News. That's all for our contribution. The rest of Network News continues in Abuja. Thank you, Mohammed. It's time for another commercial break now. We are back shortly. Stay with us. Reviving Lake Chad for economic prosperity of the nation and national security. That is the focus on NTA Tuesday Live this week. Lake Chad on NTA Tuesday Live at 10.30 p.m. When I was a little girl, I loved spending time with mum and grandma cleaning the house. I was so excited to sing in the choir. And your shirts are always so white. I knew what mum's secret was. Today, I'm a modern woman that still trusts the secret passed down to me. It's Jik, of course. The original trusted bleach, which can be used all around your house for amazing results. Shh, it's a little secret. It's no secret. It's Jik's best ever extra whitening power. Just Jik it. As the 2019 elections draw near, Remember, evil prospers when good men and women only wish for peace, but never take a step to make peaceful elections happen. Are you a father? Are you a mother? What are you saying to your kids as the elections approach? Have you warned them not to let themselves be used to cause violence? Have you explained to them what the consequences of electoral violence might be? Do your part to make peaceful elections happen. Talk to your children. 
protect them from unscrupulous politicians who would want to put them in harm's way while their own children are in comfortable homes and schools at home and abroad. Let's join hands to make 2019 elections peaceful. This message is from the National Orientation Agency.